guys, welcome to my video. Thank you so much for watching. In this video, I am sharing a complete in-depth tour of my newly made over screened in porch area. So I have a pretty large screened in back porch that I recently finished completely doing a DIY makeover. So if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you check it out. I'll have it linked down below in the description box for you guys. But otherwise, I did quite a number on this space. Here is a before shot just so you get an idea of what it looked like previously. I am completely ecstatic about how this space turned out. I love spending time out here. It is so relaxing and just chill. So I'm just going to do a vlog style walkthrough with you guys, showing you the entire space and going through some of the decor details, where I got the furniture, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into my screened in porch tour. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna give you guys an overview of what the porch looks like. So you just kind of get an idea of the layout. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the tour by talking about the door. So one of the upgrades I did was paint it. So previously it was red. I really don't like the color red, so I decided to just go for black since it is just neutral, classic. I really like the sharp contrast of the black against the light gray and the white trim. I think it looks really clean. It looks really nice. I'm happy with it. The color is not a pure black and it is not a charcoal gray. Somebody asked me in my other video about it and it is this color right here, black iron. And then the paint I used is Benjamin Moore Advance. I always recommend this paint for surfaces that get a lot of wear and tear. And then the other thing we did as well is get the light fixture switched out. It's a tiny, cute little light. I really liked the way it looked. It's kind of got a bronzed finish to it. And then moving along, I've got this blue umbrella picture. I think I picked this up at Hobby Lobby clearance out last summer for probably like three or four dollars. I really liked the umbrella illustration and of course the blue and green colors are always my favorite. So next I'm gonna talk about my lights. So the lights are from Amazon. I will have them linked below as well as the little clips that I use to hang most of them. And then what I did is because I didn't want like the cords and all that jazz hanging out is I ran an extension cord down the side of the beams right here, you can see. And I stapled around it to attach it. And then what I did is just ran it under the stairs and again stapled it along the way. And then there's where it plugs in and I can plug it in, unplug it. We'll see over here. It's kind of an unfinished corner of my paint too. I don't know why or how that happened, but it did. Eventually I would consider painting the stairs to match the white beams as well. All right, and then moving over to this corner. This porch is such a huge space. I still don't consider it to be like fully finished and furnished. So this like part is kind of open and doesn't really have a lot going on, but I decided to just do kind of like a little vignette of plants over here. This corner gets a little bit of sun through the day, maybe like two hours. So that is why I concentrated my plants over here. I've got uh, a parlor palm I think this is called and then I've got Mr. Froggy and he's got a little LED candle in there my mom got him for me for my birthday I really love him and then we've just got a regular old fern this wicker plant stand and the wicker chairs I'll show you guys in a little bit are very old vintage furniture from the early 1900s that belonged to my great-grandparents so I was very excited to incorporate them into this room over here, I've just got some English ivy and white impatience. And then there is just a little caladium. And then we have the macrame cat swing hammock. Only one of our two cats, Abaddon, has shown any interest in sitting in it, but he really likes it. And it is so cute when he's in here. I plan on putting like a little stool cushion in the bottom of here to make it a little cuter. So one of the other things that I did to upgrade this space was change out the screen door. Previously, we just had a really cheap kind of rickety wood screen door on here. And I really love the look of like the old Victorian 
Victorian screen doors. I think they're so pretty. So this is one that I found at Lowe's. I'm gonna try to link it in the description box if it's still available. It is made of white PVC vinyl, so it's not actually wood. I really love the look of it. I think it elevated the space, gave it a little more character. And then I also added the two hanging baskets that are flanking the doorway outside. And then here is a better look at my rug. I think this rug measures like nine by 12, something like that. It's a really good size. And I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite additions to this porch. It just made it feel so much more like an extra living room in our house as opposed to a porch, I guess. So initially I had planned to put the rug over there in front of the couch and kind of in that seating area but this area is just so open and empty and i actually love where it is and how it's not covered in furniture because i actually come out here and like do stretches all the time and like some yoga stuff and lay out here i want to buy a second one of the exact same rug though and put it over there like how i initially intended and kind of um, make this space over here feel a little bit more cohesive and I think it'll just like flow really nice so eventually I would love to get another one of these and then here are the two wicker chairs that match the plant stand I just showed you guys like I said these come from my family I think it's my great-grandparents I absolutely love the old timey vintage feel they bring to this space especially in contrast with my more modern looking couch so i'm really glad i was able to adapt these into this space they were already white but i gave them a little bit of a touch up with some white spray paint and then the cushions that came on them somebody in my family had reupholstered at some point but they really weren't my style so i found these black and white striped cabana style ones at the store at home and they were only 20 bucks a piece and they fit perfect and then hanging above them i have some different artwork that picture is a little crooked this actually is super nostalgic to me this was hanging in my mom's house in the living room for as long as i can remember when i was growing up so my mom let me take this back to my house i didn't know exactly where i was gonna put it but it worked out really well out here i think it fits the vibe and then this is a sign I made with the intention of using it outside on my front porch for a little planted pot setup, but it didn't work out, so I put it out here. And then I'll just jump into the other artwork over here. This is an old repurposed window that I bought from a local little like furniture boutique. I was on the hunt for a piece that I felt like was going to be big enough for this space, so I was pretty excited to find this. Normally, I would say this isn't my style. It's a little, as my mother would say, homespun. It's kind of an eclectic mix in here and I thought it could work. This black is like chalkboard stuff, which is really not my style. I don't like that like farmhouse chalkboard kind of nonsense. So what I think I'm gonna do is look for some hand-painted ceramic or porcelain tiles like in a small batch on Etsy or something and do some like cool tile work in here. That's that's what I'm thinking but I'll figure it out. I also want to get something to hang above here. I really have no idea what that is going to be yet. Let me know if you have any ideas or suggestions. I would love to hear them. I just want it to feel a little bit more balanced with what's going on on the other side. And then this is our propane fire pit. So we use this every now and then in here to make some s'mores and have a little fire. We keep it turned down really on the lowest setting, but we've had no problems with it. And it's nice to be able to make s'mores in here without having to go outside and get eaten by bugs. So that is definitely an extra luxury to have. All right, and then moving on to the big sectional sofa. Oh, and there's Abaddon. Hi, BB. Hi. Hi. In the summer, my cats pretty much exclusively live out here. So they are very, very lucky to have this space. So this sectional came from Walmart last year at the end of the season. I had my eyes on it for quite some time. It was constantly out of stock. In fact, I think it's out of stock right now because I was looking for a link for it. It is the Better Homes and Gardens brand. And I will say like, this is not a quality piece of furniture. Um, it was under a grand for this huge sectional. I want to say it was probably about 850 
which is still a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but for a piece of furniture this size, I would say that's, that's pretty, pretty cheap. And it came with the table as well as these stools here. It's definitely a you get what you pay for kind of situation. It's not the most high quality or most comfortable piece of furniture, but it serves its purpose. I don't regret purchasing it and it works fine for the space. It's a little bit more of a modern look than I would typically go for in a piece of furniture, which is kind of what led to the very eclectic look out here. So somebody in my other video asked me like, that's way too tall for a coffee table. Yeah, it is because it is also meant to be like a dining table. If you watched my makeover video, I put casters on this table just to really make it easier to move around, but it made the weight distribution of the table get really messed up and the casters didn't want to stay in, so I ended up having to take them out. I need to reconfigure that situation, but if I get a, uh, another carpet over here, I'll just put some of those little slippy slidey feet on it. So in the before, you saw that I had a huge hammock stand and a hammock out here, which we still have. We just have it put away in the shed for now. I loved that hammock and I still really want to set up a hammock in here again because I loved it so much but that hammock stand just takes up so much freaking space which is why I put it away and opted for some different furniture but what I had initially intended doing with this corner is hanging a hammock using the support beams of the porch I was inspired by an Instagram post of somebody I follow to try this out. I'm gonna put, put the picture on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I really loved the way this looked. And I started to plan to do my own kind of setup like that. So I've got some heavy duty hooks and stuff in here. I really just wanna make sure I'm not putting too much weight on the support beams, but I'm hoping I can eventually get it figured out. Might ask my dad to help me. I had a couple people ask me about our projector and our screen. So the projector screen was previously at a middle school and we were able to get that for free when they were getting rid of it. And then the projector we have was just like a low cost one purchased from Amazon, but Sam actually did just go and purchase a new one that's a little bit more upgraded and has some more bells and whistles. So I will link that down below if you guys are interested. And then I have these two vintage shutters flanking each side of the screen, which is why I keep the screen down because if it's up, I feel like the shutters just look kind of random. So then in this corner, I just put a couple different lanterns with my LED candles in there. Oh, that one's not on. This is all just decor that I previously had. These are some big fake, I think monstera leaves, if that's what that plant's called. Uh, those are from Ikea. I also just wanted to give you guys a little overview of the back side of the porch. So once again, I will stick in a before clip. I've done a lot of work with the landscaping out here as well. It is not completely done. I've still got some mulching to do over there. Still want to move around some of the plants, but I've definitely made a lot of progress. And once again, I just think the white really just brightened up the space and made it feel more finished as well as the new screen door. And then my mom is like super into birds and feeding her birds and all that jazz. So she kind of got me set up with some feeders and my cats absolutely love to watch the birds and Don just goes crazy. You can hear him chittering in the background. If you are still watching, that means you probably enjoyed the video, so please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below for more home decor related content just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!